All right, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good wherever you are. This is another edition of Homie Picks. Different time, no longer on a Sunday morning, but we're coming <laughs> to you because this is the first week of the playoffs. Playoffs start Saturday, which will be tomorrow. For those of you watching tonight, of course, I am joined with Lou and Ben. Ben is definitely having the 21 and over beverage. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's just a green can. <laughs> it's a, ginger ale. Ginger ale. It's a ginger ale Sprite uh, combination. <laughs> <laughs> no promos. No promos. No promos here. <laughs> but welcome to another this year. Homie Picks. We got my guys. And like I said, we're coming to you for the first week of the playoffs. We have week one. Uh, sorry, the. This is the uh, division. I'm sorry, it's the wild card, wild card. series. This is the wild, wild card weekend. The wild card weekend. Um, this year is a little different than all the rest of the years. Usually, you have two by. Uh, there'll be two teams with the buy in each division. Now it's only the one seed. The two seed is playing, so that makes more games. That makes it more interesting. It also means more money being made. Before we get into the Saturday games. Fellas, do you have any predictions on who will be in the Super Bowl or even the winner? Mm, uh, it's a tough one for me. <laughs> I haven't, I don't know. I, I think I have to wait to see how this wild card shakes out. Um, but <clears throat> if Buffalo doesn't stumble in the first round. I think they can they can challenge Casey. They they can score in bunches and they have a pretty good defense. So and Casey's been struggling just a little bit. So I, I can see Buffalo definitely pulling that off. And then what would be Buffalo Green Bay? Okay. I would think Super Bowl. And I would probably lean towards Green Bay on that one. Just the offense. They'll probably just I don't know if they would they'll be able to keep up, but. Uh, yeah, Green Bay, Buffalo, probably Buffalo. I'm um, Green Bay wins it. Okay. I'm going uh, Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City versus the Seahawks. Um, old school versus, you know, the the old Russell Immortal Wilson over there. Still got shown his legs against the new, you know, I'm still learning how to read defenses, Mahomes. So, uh, yeah, I'm taking those two to the Super Bowl. Um, I think Mahomes repeats again. Uh, it's a close game, comes down to a wire again. And uh, I think Casey wins. Okay. I am I – like, I like both of y'all predictions. Um, <laughs> I, would love to pick, I would love to be a homer and pick my boys. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I would not want to play Baltimore right now. They however, are playing well. <laughs> however, we have – if things shake out the way that they may shake out, we will have to face our two biggest nemesis in the playoffs. <laughs> back to back? Back to back. And that's not an easy task. Tennessee, <laughs> Tennessee got us up out of the playoffs last year. KC has had has had our ass uh, these past <laughs> times out, um, including that Monday night drubbing that they did um, in KC. And I think next in next year we do also play KC, but in Baltimore, maybe we'll have fans to see that. But who knows what next year is going to shake out to? I I I, I really want to go for Buffalo. I really want to see Buffalo. And I want to see Buffalo versus huh. – see, I want to say Seattle also, but their defense is just too damn shaky. Um, and not just that. They haven't been scoring for the past month almost. I think they've and, been under 25. Yeah, it's it's tough. Honestly, you know what? I'm going to say – wow, I'm going to throw a shot in the dark. I'm going to say Buffalo Saints. Wow, okay. Throw a shot in the dark. Buffalo. <laughs> that's that's Saints, gonna be uh, I, um, I don't know if I could say it, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like they're gonna end up with another 
bad call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're destined for that. Uh, so, um, Lou, you said uh, you said Buffalo and Green Bay. No, I was Ben. No, that was me. Buffalo, Green Bay. Um, Buffalo, I think, like I said, I think Green Bay will win, but um, I w- I would like to see Buffalo win because beat down my first team that I actually rooted for before uh, too many disappointments was Buffalo. <laughs> Way before they started popping up in the Super Bowl, and yeah, long story short, I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> So I switched off. That's how I became a Colts fan. All right, well, so that's right. You said that, uh, Lou, you said KC and Green Bay, right? What are you drinking, man? KC and Seattle. KC and Seattle. My bad. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been on the same shit Ben's on. But, <laughs> <laughs> <So> <laughs> and you said, Wait, KC would, <laughs> you said KC would win that one, right? Yeah, I got KC. KC so um, according, to the, according to the odds makers right now, <laughs> If KC, if it is KC in Seattle and KC wins, that is plus fifteen hundred. So a hundred dollar bet land you fifteen hundred dollars. For Ben's prediction of Buffalo and Seattle, I had it right. Green Bay. <laughs> Green Bay my bad. Um, Buffalo, Green Bay. That would and you say who will win? Green Bay. Green Bay. Green Bay over Buffalo, that will land you plus two thousand. So a hundred dollar bet will land you two thousand dollars. And for me, with Buffalo, I even say who I would think win. I uh, just throw a shot in the dark. Buffalo over over New Orleans. Buffalo finally raises that monkey off their back, having four straight years in the nineties where they made it to the Super Bowl and blew every last one. <laughs> They finally get over the hump and win it. Imagine, that, imagine they get it and they lose by a kick again. Oh my god! No, <laughs> that alone will land you plus thirty one hundred. So a hundred dollar bet will land you three thousand one hundred dollars. There's a lot of different um, parlays. There's a lot of different bets. Teasers. Um, currently, the favorite to win it all, of course, is Kansas City, followed by Green Bay. Buffalo is the third favorite in terms of odds. The long shot, if anybody wants to get a wild guess on who the long shot is to win it. Cleveland. <laughs> they're, the third, they're the third longest shot. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Who do you want to get a guess? Uh, <laughs> Who's squeaked in? Colts are the fourth favorite. Or the fourth um, from, the, from, the, from the bottom. I'm going to go with Bears. Bears are the long shot, <laughs> followed by Washington, Cleveland, and the Colts. Those are your four bottom feeders. <laughs> so your three bottom feeders. Uh, your top four. Your top four is Chiefs, Packers, Buffalo, Saints. Saints will be the plus seven fifty. So uh, you gotta do a hundred dollar bet. Boom, land you seven fifty. That's the easy way to remember it. But moving on, moving into, we got to get to the first week first, Wild Card Weekend. Starting off first, we got Ben's Colts versus the Buffalo Bills. It's a one o'clock game Saturday. Of course, the Bills are the favorite. They're the home team. But we're not going to go by point spreads. We're not going to. We can tell you the point spread is Buffalo is a six and a half point favorite, money line favorite of minus two ninety five. So a hundred dollar bet, and we never really talk about that in the weeks prior. But going over that right quick, essentially you would need to put that money back just to break even. So, like I said, uh, Buffalo is the favorite. So of course you're not going to really win much off the favorite unless you put it up a lot and you was getting crumbs from it. So being that that's Ben's favorite team is the Colts, we're not going to go to him first. Lou, mm-hmm. what you thinking of? Uh, I'm thinking of Buffalo. Buffalo, man. Buffalo scares me as the new kings of the AFC East. Um, Josh Allen got a lot to prove. Uh, you know, he was slept on. You know, I think what he was picked. He was the third quarterback picked that year in that draft. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he got a lot to prove. Uh, they're playing lights out right now. Stephon Diggs, 
when they first made that trade for him, and I questioned them, like, man, they gave up a lot to get Stephon Diggs. And boy, did I kick myself in the mouth because he's been worth everything they gave up for him. Yeah. Um, he's playing lights out. Um, he's flossing on the sidelines uh, and everything. So I'm definitely taking Buffalo, and I think it's going to be a smack, you know, a smack you run away within the first quarter, second quarter kind of game. <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn, he is killing your boys, man. I mean, oh, Philip Rivers. Do you trust Philip Rivers in the playoffs? Uh, my turn. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, Philip Rivers did beat. He did beat Baltimore in Lamar's first go around. So, <laughs> but I, I for one, am not going to make it any better. I think Josh Allen is going to play a lot better than he did last year in the playoffs. I think that was his, you know, first little taste of what it looks like to be in the limelight. You know, the real New York team, I don't care about markets, you know, about the New York market is really just New York City and Northern Jersey and whatever. Buffalo is the only team that plays in New York State. They are the New York team. Even if you want to go for the Giants and the Jets, Buffalo <laughs> plays in this state. <laughs> but... Um, I think Josh Allen is going to have a nice game. I think Stefan Diggs was a huge, a huge reason why he took a step up in his, in his, in his play. And he was already balling last year, this year, it made it even look easier. So Diggs is definitely that, that, that dude. I think him alone is going to make Josh Allen look like a star this year. I know the Colts have a good defense, a really good defense, but I just can't see Buffalo blowing this one. Uh, so I got Buffalo winning. Ben, it is your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go for Unfortunately, the I, I do think the Bills are going to win this one. I, I think uh, they just can score too much. I mean, you can, you've seen that they've blown out a couple of teams. Our defense is good, but the problem that's – going to happen or could happen is that we won't be able to keep up. We're not a high scoring team. That's our problem right now. And yes, yeah, it falls to a little bit to fill a river. He's one dimensional at this point in his career. He's just drop back and try and find somebody open. If it's not there, it, <laughs> not much is going to happen. Um, however, the Colts have a shot. It's just a long shot. If, if they can get a run game going and just dominate in the run, keep, um, Allen off the field, that would be their best shot. But if they fall behind at any point, it's a wrap. So I, I, they just have to have too many things lined up for them to win. Don't get me wrong. I think the defense is going to win. I don't think they're going to lose by, by more than seven points. I think it will be close. I think it will be by a field goal. Yeah. But I think Buffalo wins. Okay. Which, you know, that's a nice little tidbit if you want to, you know, for anybody who does want to bet, Honestly, if you're going to bet um, Bills, you have to really bet spread if you want to because that's the only way you're going to make money off that. But if you want to if you want to lump that in and have a chain up uh, for a parlay, 16 or whatever, then you definitely can go Bills money line or just or just wait just save your money for another game such as Rams in Seattle, which would be a four o'clock game. Right now, the Seattle Seahawks are the favorite. They are the home team as well. So, I'm going to go and say goodbye, uh, goodbye Seahawks. Seahawks, <laughs> are, I somehow, some way think the Rams can – I know the Rams can beat the Seahawks. I've seen the Rams beat the Seahawks. <laughs> Can they beat them in the playoffs? I know Russell. I know Russell Wilson. You know he he's he's a star in this league. I don't know if he has that. You know that like I mean he he's not like LeBron where he says playoff mode activated. You know he just does <laughs> things. But it's just that defense with Seattle. Granted, they have played better as the weeks have gone on. But, but I, I believe Jamal Adams is hurt. Keep that one in mind there. Jamal Adams is hurt, but he said he's playing. He just got hurt against uh, the 49ers, but he flat out said, I'm playing. 
Um, hey, like you can say you're playing, but that doesn't mean you're gonna be you effective. Really if playing, you hurt. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> or you're gonna be effective if you hurt and you're not effective. What's the you're point? Be a liability. So yeah. So I I I I just think the Rams. You know, if they catch fire in the playoffs, they can they can easily wind up in the, in the Super Bowl also. Like they were just there a few years ago, and you know this could be retribution for them. You know, it could be this. It could be their revenge tour. But it's not going to be an easy road for them. Uh, you have a lot of good teams. This is the playoffs. You have a lot of good teams in front of you. So I think the Rams can score enough points. Seattle, their offense can be shaky, and their defense is even more shaky. So I just think the Rams can, if anything, they can outplay them and outscore them. Uh, ben? Yeah, sorry. Um. I'm, this one's difficult for me. This one's a real toss-up just because uh, there's no clear indication. I don't think Goff is playing or or their backup is playing. I think that, that, that one, that's the real mystery in this game for me. Um, like you said, I don't trust Seattle's defense, and right now their offense is struggling. I mean, I don't think they've, Russell Wilson has completed a 20-plus yard with DK Metcalf for the last three weeks. So they're not throwing the ball down the field, so they're struggling right now. With the, so the Rams have the good front. They can pressure Russell. He's going to have to get out the pocket again and ad-lib. And I don't know. That I, I can see the, the Rams pulling the upset here. I know they're the underdog, but I, I can see the Rams winning this one. I don't, I don't think uh, Seattle, the way they're playing now, don't get me wrong, they can step into the playoffs and turn it on, you know, it, have a great game all of a sudden and start hitting bombs, but they, just going off by what's happened the last couple of weeks, I don't see it. I, I think the Rams win. And I'll, I'll be, I'll, we all know a lose going to go with this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think you 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 kind of said it. You know, Russell Wilson doesn't have his playoff mode activated. I I, I think we're going to finally see that this year. Um, he does have a lot to prove. I think that whole receiving team has a lot to prove. Um, DK Metcalf was up there as one of the best offensive players in the league um, the first half of the season, and then you know things got quiet. Um, I think they're going to reestablish the running game that that's gotten away from them. I think they were successful early on when they ran first through second. Um, then they got you know trigger happy with the with the deep balls and things like that, and stuff got away from them. So <clears throat> I think they returned back to playoff form. Um, I mean they lost to the Rams what once. They won one. Um, yeah, the last two games haven't been pretty. Um, their their best game before this was when they beat the Jets forty to three, and that says a lot within itself. Um, but I think you know, Pete Carroll is one of those coaches that knows how to push the right buttons, especially in the playoffs. Um, so I think he they they squeak out a win. I'm not saying it's gonna be a blowout. I can see this being at the end of the game, kind of a field goal winning kind of game. So. I'm taking the Seahawks. Right, right, right. Yeah, um, it's it's gonna be a good game. I think that'd be one of the better games on on Saturday. Uh, before we get into the next game, anybody who is watching, anybody who has family out in the DC area, you know, we had some real scary shit that went down on Wednesday. Um, so I want anybody, uh, hopefully. Everybody that you know, everybody that you care for is safe. Anybody that you know in D.C. is safe. Um, I have family that work in D.C., that live around D.C. Um, everybody's good there. You know, it's... I'm an hour from D.C. <laughs> lose an hour from D.C. Like, you have people who come from all over and do some wild stuff. Like, it was some scary, it was some scary times out there, but hopefully you're staying safe. And the, the Washington football team is hosting this weekend. They have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers featuring Tom Brady, who, according to Chase Young, he can't wait. <laughs> <They work. laughs> my man pulling my, my, my man challenge has entered Bart Scott. Uh, Bart Scott. So, <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, I don't know <laughs> about that one. So, Lou, lead us off of this one, bro. Man, uh... I, I don't even know what to say about this game. First of all, Washington should be there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, <laughs> Allergy. We're going to talk, we're gonna talk <laughs> about that. Um, <laughs> You know, I can't stand Tom. I was kind of looking forward this to be my Giants versus Tom Brady again. Um, I, I was really looking forward to that, but we shall not speak about that, even though I spoke about it enough. Um, it, it, it's, it's Tom Brady. He has a crap load of weapons. Washington doesn't even know they're going to have a quarterback. Uh, yeah, this, this is going to be a quick wash. I, I think I think Brady blows my early, gets a, you know, sits down the fourth quarter of a playoff game, kind of, kind of embarrassment. Um, yeah, because I just don't think Washington – anybody that was going to re- represent the NFC East really didn't belong in there. Um, I think they should have transferred Miami Dolphins over <laughs> to, the, to the league uh, based on record and allowed them to play. You know, they finished 10-6. and six. You got a 6-9 and nine football team hosting a playoff game, which is absolutely absurd. Um, yeah, I don't respect Washington right now either. So, so. I'm taking Brady. It's going to be a – Two touchdown, three touchdown win. Okay. <laughs> I was in my team. <laughs> ben, what you get to, bro? Um, I know everybody's going up on this one. <laughs> but Washington's front can give Brady problems. And if you can get to Brady, he falls apart. It's been shown he can't handle the pressure, especially up the middle. Um. Washington get the pressure. The defense is gonna be there for for Washington. I I just don't know if they're gonna be able to score. Um, I don't know if Alex Smith is playing. That that that's gonna be troublesome for them if they have somebody else throwing it. Um, because they won't be able to score as much. Cause you know Tampa's gonna score. You're not gonna hold them down forever. No matter how good the defense, they just have so many weapons. But. If Washington can find a way to score, they should they, they, they should be making it competitive. But overall, I do think Tampa should pull it off. They, I, they can just outscore you. And like I said, if they don't have Alex Smith out there, Tampa Bay has a good defense. They're going to get to that quarterback, and he's going to struggle. And they're not going to score, period. It's just going to be very lopsided. So I can easily see this one as a blowout just because – they just won't be able to score. I, I just see Washington struggling, moving the ball. So I, I'll go with Tampa. I, I want to really say the district, you know, will overcome this. <laughs> the Washington <laughs> football team will, will 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 rally and use and use all the hatred that was that, that was fed into the city and channel that into Brady and dominate. At home, they don't even play in the city. <laughs> again, again, they don't even play in there, Washington D.C. So <laughs> they just they just represent the team, <laughs> the, the, the city into an essence. But I, like that's that's just tough. I mean, of course, I'm going Tampa Bay to win this one. It's just not going to be. I don't think it's going to be a blowout though. I really don't think it'll be able. I think Washington's defense. And hold him in there a little bit, but I just don't trust Alex Smith. You don't have Dwayne Haskins, then. and Dwayne if Haskins, anybody wants really? to agree, agree <laughs> they were going to lose to Philly last week. They were going to lose. Can we put some respect on Tampa Bay's name? They, they were, were going to yeah, lose. They were limping. They were limping again. But and like you said, anybody from the NFC East that made it, it shouldn't have been there anyway. I get yes, you have to represent the. Uh, look, you know, like, like, they say there's always an upset in the wild card weekend. I can see this one happening. It's just a matter of can if can Washington move the ball and if Alex Smith is playing like I mean, he's not hurt. If he's hurt and playing, he's not gonna it's not gonna matter. Right. If but if they can score, then the defense is gonna be effective. But if they can't score, they're not gonna be able to keep up. The defense is gonna get tired. They're gonna be worn out. No. You did predict Washington would beat Pittsburgh, and that happened. But <laughs> stranger things. I'm not saying to do it. <laughs> I didn't think that, but that's not, that, that's not going to happen. I, I say I wouldn't be surprised if this is the upset. To me, actually, the upset I'm predicting, I would say the Colts would be and the look, upset. If 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 this is the upset that you want to, pre- if anybody wants to predict the upset, Washington, of course, is the underdog, but they are a, pl- a, a plus three hundred. So a hundred dollar bet will land three hundred dollars. Um, they are a seven and a half point underdog as well. Um, 
So, you know, you say uh, any, anything that we say, you know, if you can link them into a parlay and try to gain money from it. Um, but yeah, it, that's that's a tall task to ask for Washington to win this one. Um, especially yeah, the first I, I, I that. their defense is getting better, but they're still they're still one that they're they're, they're they're just inexperienced. Look, I, I, I think their defense is much better than what you think, I believe. <laughs> their defense is really good. I just they're they are often to struggle them. They were starting to click when Alex Smith was on the helm. He a couple of games in, he was you know shook off the rust. He started to play better, but then he got hurt. The minute he got hurt, everything went sideways again. Yeah. And and I think this game being played in uh, Maryland absolutely benefits Tom Brady because he plays all his playoff games in the Northeast weather. Uh, you putting him back in his natural element. He's not playing in Tampa Bay where it's still you know a little warmer and. Right. Things like that. So he's he's in his element. Um, this is this is probably gonna feel like a home game for him weather wise. And now for the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday games. You got three heaters, maybe not heaters, but you got one that starts off as a heater. You got <laughs> Ravens at the Titans. Yeah, Ravens at Titans. Rematch <laughs> <laughs> of last year's also conference finals. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, you know, it's my, my boys are the, uh, you know, my boys, I, I ain't going to go first. So we are also <laughs> somehow somewhere. We are the favorite. I need to mention that we are the favorite <laughs> going into Tennessee. I'll take this one first. Um, I'll take this one first. By all means. I'm taking Tennessee. <laughs> I'll stay here. Um. It really comes down to Derrick Henry. I don't think there's a team on this planet that can stop him if he wants to get running downhill. Um, I don't think there's a game I've seen this year where he hasn't broken off for a 20, 30, 40, 50 yard run. Um, back to back rushing titles. I don't, I don't think we've seen that since uh, LaDamian Tomlinson uh, with the Chargers, I believe. Um, so, yeah, he starts rolling that, that team. If they run the ball well, it usually leads to a W. So, uh, you know, Ryan Tannehill has had a resurgence since he left Miami. Um, everyone laughed at him going to Tennessee as a backup. And um, can anybody even name who was a, who was a quarterback before Ryan Tannehill? Mariota. Mariota. Yeah. yeah. You know, if that just shows you how bad Gase was. <laughs> because everybody right. thought it was Tannehill that was bad. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, Lucky the thinking, Jets figure that one out, right? <laughs> well, the Jets tried to tank, and we know how that ended. Now they ended up with a second pick, so <laughs> he couldn't, they couldn't even get losing right. Yeah, that was his departing gift. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm taking Tennessee. Um, I, you know, I, I give Baltimore credit because they have had they have bounced back. Um, you know, they hit that bump in the road where they lost a couple games in a row, and everybody was like, "What the hell's going on with this team?" Uh, but they they righted the ship. They got into the playoffs. Uh, but I think the buck stops here. Uh, no, you know, a whole bunch of puns intended with Derrick Henry running that ball. <laughs> All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm actually on the opposite on this one. I believe Baltimore wins this one. Uh, they're playing really good football right now. Tennessee does not have a pass rush. They they have no pass rush. I don't think they'll make Lamar uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form. So I do not see them containing them. I think they're going to run all over them. They've been, what, averaging well, close to 300 yards per game, right, give or take? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I It's not the same matchup, I think, last year. Last year, I think Tennessee's um, defense was slightly better. This year, they, they, they give up a lot of yards. Uh, I do not see them stopping this. Like, it's going to be a high-scoring game. This is going to be the, one of the best games of the weekend, I think. It's going to be a high-scoring game. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I see Baltimore winning this one, ultimately. Um, the defense hasn't been playing great for Baltimore, but, I, I, you know, if, if they can manage Derrick Henry a little bit, you know, keep him – to 100 yards, not 200, they might survive this one. But I, I, I just don't see it. I, I, I think Lamar would just be too comfortable there. They're just playing good football right now. They're going in hot. So, 
I, I like Baltimore. I... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, be a homer. So let me mention, so I said Baltimore is the favorite. Uh, they are a three-point favorite. Tennessee um, to lose to lose bet is plus one fifty-four. So you can make money off um, off uh, Tennessee in this game. But I am going to not make money. I am going to go for my Ravens. I know. I I, I knew it was going to be a long. It was going to be a long game for us when we played them uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, that was actually one of uh, a really a really rough stretch for us because then we went into uh, COVID protocol against Pittsburgh and it was a yeah it was, yeah that was like a no game yeah it was it was pretty um, erratic around that time but the the infamous Derrick Henry joined the L <laughs> run to end the game <laughs> that that you know I I I pretty much think that they've seen that. I, I know they have probably seen that footage at least eleven thousand times, <laughs> and are not going to want to see that ever again. Uh, last year, we did not expect Tennessee to play this good, and hats off to uh, Ver- um, Vrabel. You know their coach; he's he is a hell of a coach. I mean, I, I didn't see that coming. Um, you know, but he's made a name for himself. As one as one of the best coaches in the NFL currently, uh, Tennessee just keeps getting better and better. But I think their luck ends this weekend. Uh, I think Lamar is not going to go zero and three in his first three playoff starts. Not to say that, not to say that you know it's a bad list to be on because there was another guy who started zero and three. He had a pretty damn good career, Peyton Manning. So I should know. know. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's not to say that it's no. a bad list to be on I just don't think he's going to be on that list I think I think that I think the bleeding stops this week yeah uh, and I think Baltimore uh, gets this one it's not I, I, it, I think it, it probably about right. so, if anything yeah I, I just think they the because I know a lot of people are just talking right now about Lamar can't throw it or whatever like I think that's being overplayed a little bit too much like I think he right now he's being a victim of his own success because he was so good last year and this year he took a step back and even though it's a step back it's still pretty good it's not like it's a horrible thing any other team would take this so I I really don't see it I I like I said Tennessee is really good they can score in bunches but they their defense and I just don't trust it yeah I mean and Lamar does have a slight advantage because there's no home crowd uh, he doesn't have that monkey on his back. Of going into the stadium 0 and 2, and then having the home crowd letting you hear it uh, that you've been 0 and 2 in the playoffs. So that, that, I mean, that's the thing. He don't want to lose again. He's motivated yeah. for this one. Yeah. So yeah, he doesn't have that pressure of a home crowd. So yeah, I mean, you can call this the COVID ball. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 is he gonna run back into the into the locker room, take a shit, and come back? <laughs> this is, it works, man. I mean, I, I just looked at the stats of the first game. I was watching that game, bro. <laughs> That's the thing uh, that came into my head. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go, bro. Yeah, so but he's gonna have game. to pull the ball, though. He threw for one seventy-seven uh, the last time they met. He said yeah. that wasn't it, though. <laughs> Who's not gonna admit to that, man? Like, who wanna admit to that? <laughs> but you know, it, it, an, another factor into this game, and we'll go to the next one. The reemergence of Des Bryant who was nowhere in the league in the past couple of years. And he, he scored a touchdown in his, in his last three games. And he is, he's coming, he's coming back into his own, you know, like he's having a real good resurgence. Uh, Hollywood is also getting more space for Hollywood Brown to operate. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, you know, we always go for a tight end strategy. So, you know, Andrews has to catch the ball and that's always, you know, that's always, a factor is, is, is the catches because you you can you can have it in your hands, but can you come down with it? And last mm-hmm. year there was a lot of drop balls, uh, you know, pause, but <laughs> you know it was a lot of drop, you know, receptions, and um, you know, and of course, maybe one day down the line, interceptions will actually be 
charge to the offensive player and not just the quarterback because there are times when that ball will be right in the receiver's hands and it'll just it'll be deflected and you know right. an interception would be charged to to the quarterback and that's just yeah. really not a fair assessment because uh, then you were you, unless you're Jameis Winston that that was a lot of that shit was on. <laughs> <laughs> Like he I still believe shit. the man might be colorblind. He needs to get that checked out. <laughs> no, he did that shit. But, <laughs> you know, but I say, but anyway, moving on to the next one. Uh, I got some of my Ravens all day. And I'm pretty sure no one wants to watch that. So, next game on Sunday night, Sunday afternoon, should I say, uh, the president, uh, 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 a fan, a favorite of the show, his Bears. And I got to talk about your Bears, bro. I'm sorry, but. The Bears are going against the Saints. Of course, the Saints are the favorite, a huge favorite. They're a minus 500. That is actually the biggest favorite biggest. of the weekend. Um, so Chicago is going, in, they're going to be marching into the Saints territory. Ben, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> I think the Saints ultimately win this one just because they can score. Um, and they have a pretty good defense. Um, but they can ultimately the point is that they can score. Um, I just don't trust the Bears offense. I know they've they've gotten better with Trubisky when he's played back, but he's very limited. Um it's gonna be tough for them to score a lot and keep up. However, I the Bears have a great defense. So I do not see them getting blown up. So look, if I was a betting man, I would bet Chicago for the points, but um, I think the Saints win. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much on board with that, too. The same exact thing you said. Uh, Trubisky is actually, what, 6-3 and three as a starter? Um, yeah. And, and, of course, uh, and as, to me, as long as they're not facing Green Bay, they have a chance in any game because Green Bay just has their ass. Um, as noted from, from the last game. <laughs> but, you know, it's – Chicago is an interesting team, but they're also the long shot for a reason to win the Super Bowl. They're just – one, they're inconsistent. Uh, the coaching can be shitty at times. The offensive play can be shitty at times. Luckily, I don't think they're going to swap out Trubisky for Foles. Even though he has a Super Bowl MVP, look, Eli got a couple of those too. We, <laughs> he so, got bailed Foles out. Foles is a backup. He got and, bailed and, out, Louie. You know it. Come on. Foles is a he backup. He got bailed out. It's called a bailout. Foles was is a backup. No, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> he got anybody bailed out. It's a miracle. I, I don't understand the level of care with Nick Foles. He's a backup. He's, he's, he's a had backup moments. Season. He's had moments of nice, you know, he's had some nice moments. But he's ultimately a backup. Remember, he flashed in the Eagles. He landed a huge contract for the Rams. What happened there? He became the backup. Yeah. Like, Look, everywhere he's gone, he's the backup. He just happens backup to have good moments. He's the backup for a reason. Like I said, it's – like, dude, dude is, he, he's a very lucky backup. i put it like that, you know. But He happens to get hot just when they need them, and it, it just happens to work. It ain't going to matter in these playoffs. <laughs> the same uh -huh. The Saints will be marching down them, man. That's that. Like they'll tame the Bears. I well, care. I want to say Saints. I, I really do. But how have the last two playoff games worked out for the Saints? <laughs> Good point. And, and if any team is going to have one of those moments, could you imagine the Bears having one of those moments against the Saints <laughs> again? Okay. Um, you know what? That that, that you know that would be very fitting because. Trubisky can be very comparable to Ke Keenan Allen, uh, um, Case Keenum, I'm sorry. And, you know, um, Allen Robinson could Alan be Robinson. Uh, Diggs. Could yeah. be Diggs, you know. The, uh, uh, I, last I, I, I don't know, my gut is throw. telling me the Saints <laughs> find a way to lose, whether it's the Zebras, whether it's missing the tackle. Like, I, I can just see it happening. I mean, and it would be the Saints against the Bears that the Saints are the biggest, you know, spread against any team this week in the playoffs, and they find a way to, to, to lose it. So I want to say Saints. I wouldn't be surprised if some craziness happens in the game where we don't get a flag or we do get a flag. Um, it would be different this year, right? We get the flag that the Saints pushed <laughs> for that didn't get last year. Um, that would be very ironic. 
and a twist. I, I'm gonna say Saints, but my gut is telling me something's gonna happen. Be Chicago. Be bold. <laughs> Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. No, for, for the president, I'm gonna say Chicago. Okay. Oh, see, there we go. We have, we have, we have, we have flop. We have change. We have change from the red to the blue. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be quite honest, for the Sunday game, to me, this would be the upset pick. I, I, I'm gonna go for the president. I, I can, this one, so that, that's all I, I can totally see Chicago winning this one because they have that good defense. You know, I don't know how um, how healthy Brees is. You know, what he had like every cracked rib possible. <laughs> like that. That's not like a, a quick heal. So, yeah, like I said, Bears have a good D. And you never know. Trubisky catches fire. To be fair to Trubisky, it it wasn't like he was playing bad when they yanked him. He right. was just playing bad in that game. Yeah. In that game, he was having a bad game when they pulled oh, him. I, I can see Foles coming in. Trubisky gets hurt coming in and having one of those lightning in a bottle games where – And no then he has a, has a statue of Soldier Field. Yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. Imagine. <laughs> Luckily for Breeze, he ain't going to see Soldier Field this playoff. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And our last game, the wrap up with the wild card weekend. We got Cleveland at Pittsburgh for the second week in a row. <laughs> the 8 15, the Sunday night header. Of course, the home team is the favorite. Um, and it's funny because outside of Washington and Tennessee, every team that's at home has been the favorite. Um, but I honestly wanted to go for Cleveland. I really wanted to go for Cleveland. Um, the only reason why I'm going to go and lean Pittsburgh is because Cleveland is still fighting through a whole COVID protocol team. Like they're still going, they may be missing some people. Um, and I think Cleveland, I think Cleveland at full staff can beat Pittsburgh. Um, I just don't know if they're going to be missing Jews. And it's bad enough you don't have Odell, and they've been playing great lights out without him, but. Bad enough you don't have him. You're going to miss Juice maybe. Um, hopefully Chubb and, you know, they can he can play too. Um, I think Cleveland is limping again into this playoff uh, because of, because of you know, their, their, their whole COVID protocol team. So um, that's the only freaking reason why I'm, I would ever, I'm ever picking Pittsburgh for this one. My heart really wants – Cleveland to win, but I really want to be wrong. But I'm going Pittsburgh. Yeah, um, if, if I tell I, you, I believe they're only missing their coach and their left tackle and a backup wide receiver so far. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm going Pittsburgh for the same reason as you, Jared. Um, I think Cleveland will be out without their best player. Um, their best player is their coach because um, he's the one who's figured out the Baker Mayfield enigma conundrum that was going on. <laughs> And now you don't have your best. And he's your offensive coordinator yeah. at that. So you're losing your head coach and the guy that runs the offense at the same time. And your first player of the game since Jim Brown. Um, you know, I, I don't see them coming out of this game. Um, uh, sorry for all the Cleveland fans out there for that Jim Brown reference. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, they're losing their best player. Honestly, they're losing their best player. And it's sad that their best player is their coach because uh, he's the only one that figured out, you know, Less was less is more with Baker Mayfield. Um, mm -hmm. Less throwing, more handing that ball off. Um, I don't think they do that. I think he wants to. He probably gonna want to go out there and show his gun, show him that you know he can lead his team. But without Stefanski there, it's gonna be difficult for him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's 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 not gonna I, be. I guess we all in agree. <laughs> Cause I I don't think the Browns win this time around. I know they won last week, but they struggled against their backup. I mean, it wasn't even their full staff. Um, and then, and at that time, they had Stefanski, they had the full roster, so now they're actually short. Um, Baker's a nice quarter, uh, quarterback. He He's very accurate, you know, but he needs everything to line up for him to win. And right now, it, it's not it's not perfect. So I, I see them struggling, and you know Pittsburgh has a good defense. They have a good pass rush. They can get T.J. Watt is rested. He didn't play last week. They're gonna come after him. I do not. I, I see Baker struggling. 
I see at least two turnovers by him, probably one pick six. I I think they fall apart. I'm sorry, Cleveland. I think you pulled your usual. <laughs> but I mean, I I know I can't even say LeBron's gonna be sad because he can say, "Oh, I'm a hometown fan," but the dude reps Cowboys all day. So, I mean, mm-hmm. re- really, it is what it is. Right. I think the only person who would be sad would be Drew Carey, but <laughs> you know, but it's it's. I I think we all really want to see Cleveland win. I think we all want to see Cleveland. Win. We just. Right, I don't think they have, have what it takes to be that story. Yeah. Yeah. And not, not right they're now, knocking yeah. out the door. They they're not they're not allowed in yet. Right. So mm-hmm. Let them get this experience. Let them see what the playoffs is like. Um, you know, and next year maybe they'll they'll. They'll be over that hump, you know. Pittsburgh will be a year older, um, you know. Better have another year under his belt, heading towards that over the hill mark, and maybe they'll be that time. But I think they knock on the door. Um, but I think Pittsburgh really, you know, they get out coached by Mike Tom- Thompson. Yeah, Tomlin. Tomlin is a hell of a coach still. Um, you know, he's one of the very few minority head coaches we still have in this league. Uh, the Chargers let go of theirs. Uh, and sadly, he may never get a job again because of how the Chargers have, you know, failed and failed and failed. Which is crazy. I, I, don't I, think can't I, believe, believe. I can't blame that fire. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't believe – that one I didn't like at all. Yeah. Um, the guy has a winning record. The guy knows what he was doing over there. Um, I, no, I, I look, he had a winning record, yes, but look, you find your quarterback and you had leads in a lot of these games. Like, you can't right. blow fourth quarter leads. I'm sorry. You have the personnel. It's not like you don't have the, the pieces. You have them. And you stumbled upon a great freaking quarterback because they were going to start with Tyrod. If Tyrod didn't get hurt with the accidental puncture of the of the lung, mm-hmm. they, he would still be riding the bench. Yeah. It, it, so he stumbled upon a great quarterback, and they just couldn't close out games. And that just comes down basically to the game plan and the coaching. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate, you know. Um, you know, we just gotta see next year what happens, what rolls and so forth. Um, you know, hopefully we see more people, you know, uh have more opportunities out here in the NFL, you know, people like Pep Hamilton and so forth. Um, you know, it's it's is it's gonna be interesting playoffs. I don't think it's gonna be like we all three had different predictions and so forth of who's going to be where and who. Um, one, one, uh, one last thing: sports betting may be legal in New York. Coming soon. That is <laughs> that is our breaking news for the week. <laughs> Cuomo Cuomo has 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 signed off on sports betting being legal in New York. They need the only money. caveat. And problem to it all is he wants to run it through the lottery and not through casinos, which means it's not going to be as competitive in terms of payouts and so forth. So you're not going to get any good eyes like you will with FanDuel and William Hill. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think that's going to happen. But listen. yeah, because he's Cause thinking of it the as purpose. yeah, he's thinking of it as oh, we'll make more money through the state if we do it through the lottery and. A lot of his constituents, anybody who has a voice in Congress, how I will write my own Congress uh, congressperson, like, nah, you gotta make that through the casinos. Like you you you, yeah. you may you may make more money through the lottery, but you but you you you're you're thinking short sided on that one, bro. Like it didn't work in it well, didn't work in DC. Wait, 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 hold on. Because right now it is through the casino. Right now in New York you can go to the casino and bet on sports. Um, they just lim- they just limited um to one is one upstate I believe and yeah I think that's it um so you can bet sports in New York but you have to go to that casino I I, I believe this is for the online stuff so I'm not sure about the mm-hmm. rest of the stuff at, at it, this it's point opening the online betting for but New even York. if it goes that route people would rather just take the 45 minute drive into Jersey and place a bet. Right, if it goes that way, right. But this is supposedly for the online betting. That that's yeah. what the the one that I read. So yeah, it's it's like and me, I would definitely I go to Jersey, Pennsylvania, 
if you're living further up, you know, it's more of a drive. So really, you would need that big news to, to come through for y'all, you know, for those who live in Western New York, where Buffalo is and so forth, um, you know, like just, just, just make it happen, but make it right for the people. You know, that's why, that's my only, you know, that's my only thing. Just make it right for the people. You know, we all want sports betting. It should be legal. Um, how marijuana is going to be legal <laughs> every, almost everywhere. So why that's not? That's something sports? else they should. Like, we're, we're running out of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have no income coming in. That's easy income for the state. Exactly. So, you know, this would be, this would be beneficial for the state and for the people. You know, people can, people can actually relax in their home and, Bet on a game at home <laughs> rather right. than running out. Last you know, minute. You can right. bet last minute. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> as soon as you get over the as soon as you get over the the, 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 the borderline, you got your phone out trying to find services, trying to try to try to get that last little bet in. So look, make it happen, y'all. Just just let's just make it happen, New York State. Yeah. Um and, and, and for any other state that, that doesn't have it legal yet. Same for y'all too. Just get it done. You know, like do it for the people. Yeah, but that, that's that us. Revenue. Yeah, but that's us from Homie Pigs. You know, Wild Card Weekend, Football Edition. Uh, we're gonna come at you uh, with basketball soon. Uh, me and Lou got you holding down for that one. Uh, Lou's Knicks are 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 over five hundred for first time since two thousand twelve. We're looking good. I'm not gonna say nothing. So we're looking good. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of this way, right? How, how many games is this year season? Huh? Are they, how many games are they doing this year? 72. 72. 72. Mm-hmm. 72, but I, but I mean, in the first eight, they're doing their thing, so I can't. One five out of six, so I'll take it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. So, you know, I, I, huh? I, I, I got to catch a game. I haven't caught any of the games this year. Right. Hey, man. I'm you know. in Pennsylvania. I'm still catching the game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard the Knicks are entertaining. I have not seen one ounce of anybody play, so don't feel bad. <laughs> they are they are playing really good. I can't front on them. They're playing hella good basketball. Tibbs is a good Tibbs is a good coach. Tibbs is a good coach, yeah. Like I, I, I say it, man, we were up twenty five against the Bucks and we made a stupid turnover and that man called timeout like it was nobody like we were down like that cost us to be down three points. Mm-hmm. He calls that timeout and he barked on the team. So I, I love to see that from a coach. Um, he holds the players accountable and the, the players are holding themselves accountable. So it's the first time in a long time from management all the way down to, you know, the, the 13th man on the bench, they're holding each other accountable. So I like it. And look, anytime the Knicks are doing good, the Lakers it's good are good for the NBA. It's, it's really good for the NBA. Steph is lighting up the court 62 against Dane. You know, so I think you know, any time any New York team gets into any kind of sports, you know, market, I, w- I was talking to a, a friend of mine, and I great. told him they remind me of your Nets from two years ago, Jared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I see yeah. a, a big team right now. Yeah. That Nets, that Nets team from two years ago that was scrappy and hungry, and they fought and clawed their way to yeah. win games. So, no, I, I can see it. I, I can see it. You know, and 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 they're and they're they're developing. You know, and and that was something that I think was the immaturity of Cat in Minnesota, which right. was Jimmy Butler alluded to and said, and, and you, you see Minnesota really hasn't grown. Really right. I mean, they had to make a choice, either the coach that, that or, was... or the player. They, they went with the player, um, and you can still see it. Minnesota looks like they're going to be in shambles. You know, shout out to Golden State because they got that pick mm-hmm. for next year that's unprotected. Yep. Uh, so wherever Minnesota falls, that, that pick is completely unprotected. So. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a good thing. Tibbs is no, he you know he's 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 getting the respect that he that he once had when he was with Chicago, um, and you know it's 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 a good look for him. It's a good look for the NBA. Yep. You know, for us, the homie picks, we're gonna hold you down for more better lines, more picks. Um, anybody, happy New Year. Bet safe. Uh, the Nets did win on my birthday. We. <laughs> As as we beat down as we beat down uh, a good ass Utah Jazz team, the Knicks did it. The next night after, but it, you know I was I was January fifth, so um, you know I, I was very pleased to see my team win on my day. So that was a good way to celebrate, um, and hopefully we win many many more after that. But 
Enjoy your wild card weekend. Thank you for the homie picks. You got me, Hicks, Lou, Ben. Peace. Peace. Later.